In a major development regarding the 2020 election interference case against Donald Trump, the special counsel has made a significant court filing, revealing new details and arguments that could have serious implications for the former president. The special counsel argues that Donald Trump should not be immune from prosecution, stating that when he attempted to overturn the 2020 election, he was acting as a private candidate, not in his official capacity. The filing highlights conversations between Trump and his former vice president, Mike Pence, including one where Pence urged Trump to accept his defeat and prepare for the next election. Trump's refusal to concede, his tweet that Pence lacked the courage to overturn the results, and his inaction as the Capitol was stormed on January 6 are key points in the case. Some text goes here prosecutors also reveal that during the January 6 attack, an aide informed Trump that Pence had been evacuated for his safety, to which Trump reportedly responded, so what? This chilling detail is part of the broader accusation that Trump sought to incite chaos post-election, with aides allegedly encouraging unrest. In addition, the filing outlines Trump's private conversations, including one aboard Marine One where he told family members that even if you lose, you still have to fight like hell. His praise for January 6th defendants, referring to them as warriors, also plays a role in the special counsel's case. Trump has pleaded not guilty to these charges, labeling the prosecution politically motivated, especially as it comes just weeks before an election. His defense team criticizes the timing, accusing the Department of Justice of attempting to influence the election outcome, while Trump's legal strategy of delaying the process is seen as a contributing factor to the timing of these developments. As the case unfolds, the tension between legal proceedings and electoral politics continues to grow. With new revelations, this filing marks a crucial moment in the ongoing battle surrounding the 2020 election and Trump's efforts to retain power. The legal and political ramifications are likely to reverberate for weeks to come.